the vibe I want. That's the vibe I want. All right, guys, I've been itching to do this video. I've done it before and I love to do them every, I think every turn of the season, which is things I just cannot wait to start wearing. When it starts to get to this cusp, I call it, in between mild and getting cooler, this is when you can really layer and really practice and play with your clothes and just have fun. And there's certain things that I just love to wear and I just can't wait to start wearing them and I just want to do a video on it. Why not do it for fall? It's the perfect time to do it. If you have not seen my video from last week, Friday, which is what everyone is wearing in New York, episode 30. Yes, I am still doing those videos. I just got busy for a while, for a few weeks but I love doing them. The video went up last week. If you have not seen it, I am going to link that video for you below. Please do not miss it. It's a bit of a twist to it because it's not just New York in that video, but watch this first. <laughs> you can see that afterwards. So I'm just gonna go through basically like four or five, six maybe categories of things that I personally cannot wait to wear for fall and just to show you ideas on how I personally like to style them and how I want to style them. <laughs> so. First up, in no particular order, are vests. Now, these are so good and I love them. If you've been on my channel for a bit, you already know about these vests. I got them from Isabel Morant and I love them. I picked them up in Paris and I've hit the ground running in them I every time when it gets cooler. I have it in black and in cream. This is the cream one right here. That's the back of it, Karen. Let's get this together. That is it from the front. And I just think it's just such a good vest. It is super warm. It has a texture to it. You can see that texture to it a little bit there. And I really like that about it. It's so warm, like I said. Um, I love the padded shoulders on it. It's really super structured. So it really does feel really flattering to wear. I mean, I might not wear it with this. Actually, you know what? I don't see why not. I, I could wear it like this and then just grab just bag. I'm going out. Sorry, I'm literally styling in front of you. Bloody hell. But anyway, I love this. It's so cool. It's just so warm. And I just love the kind of masculine kind of look to it. And it just feels so, so good. Oh, it's amazing. I love this. I usually wear it with like plain, like polos underneath, that kind of stuff. And I love wearing the black one. I'm gonna show you the black one. I can see it right now, but I'm gonna show you on the screen. I'll insert some footage here of me wearing it with my floral dress from Farm Rio. And I love wearing the two of them. When it's full, I can't wait to wear these because they look so good with outfits, in my opinion. I just think they look really, really cool. They make things look cool while you're staying warm. And I love that. So I want you to comment below and let me know the things that you can't wait to wear when it gets colder. Because there's those things you think, oh my God, I can't wait to wear those boots. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear that coat. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear that cardigan. Do you know what I mean? There's those things you just want to start wearing. And that for me, these are the ones. But this leads me, this outfit leads me into the next thing, which is maxi dresses winter florals for maxi dresses the farm rio one is definitely one of them i'll just show you right here i love this dress so much i cannot tell you you can see me showing it here on my instagram reel i just think it looks so cool worn again with the vest i just love that layering i love i love the look of wearing florals i call them winter florals because the base is dark or black and then you've got the floral print on top of it so those to me are winter florals and i just think that's such a a cool gothic romantic winter look i just think it's so badass so i love wearing stuff like that and i think they just team so well with like chunky boots that's how i wear them i was wearing them with like an old pair of prada boots i've had for like three years now doc martens as well i will wear them with but just floral long flowy boho -y dresses in a darker print. I love teaming those with knee-high boots even. Anything that contrasts, so a chunky boot or it could be like a, a 70s star boot. Hold on, let me show you what I mean. These, which I've had for ages from Zara, these wine burgundy boots. And the reason I've had these for so long is because they're such a classic shape. Wide shaft, gorgeous dark burgundy kind of color. Um, I really like that that heel as well, just like a solid stock heel. And I like the toe front as well. It's just like that nice rounded toe. So it has like a slight 70s look because of that thicker heel and it's not too high, right? So I can just easily like wear that. This is, a very, this is what you call a wearable heel. So I loved that I picked this up from Zara, like I said, about 
three years, four years ago. That's how long I've had these and I can't get rid of them because every single year I can pull these out because they just work so well. Oh my God, mixing textures. I love the idea of wearing like silks and wearing them like with a chunky knit. That combination to me is absolutely gold. And I am going to show you right now the pieces, the latest pieces I picked up from Lily Silk. I have been partnering with Lily Silk now, I would say for like, this must be my, it's my third year. We sleep on their pillowcases, uh, their pajamas. I've already told you, naturalistas, I have natural hair under here. I sleep with their silk bonnets because they are so, I have them sleeping with a pink one right now. This piece right now is from Lily Silk, but I have had my eye on a jumper exactly like, you lot know what I'm talking about. These kind of, I feel like this is trending at the moment, this kind of striped jumper. Here, look how flattering that looks. I have been wearing their pieces now for years and what I like is that they're made from natural fibers and not synthetic. And their silk, which I have, I have a couple of pieces, is made from mulberry trees, which requires much less waste to produce than cotton. This sweater is made from 100% Mongolian wool and is so warm. I have long arms and you can see where it hits on me. It's just like the perfect cozy jumper to wear with like a black mini skirt. I can actually see it like above the knees and then you just wear tights and then you wear knee high boots. You can just wear it completely just done up, which is actually my favorite look. It's just like that. I'll link exactly what I got from Lily Silk below. So next up is the Gilly sweater. So it's like a taupe color because it's just an easy, simple piece. It's 100% merino wool. So it's really warm, but it doesn't bulk you. Oh, it's so nice, this color. This got a natural, neutral color with a pair of olive green pants. I can just do like a slight half tuck here. Perfect, really good. Here's a little close up of it so you can see. Super, super soft. I'm sure a lot of you've heard of them already and there's a reason why, you know, I for me have mentioned them because they really do, they walk the walk and they talk the talk. They go to a lot of length just to keep their products clean, toxic free with, I think it's, how do you pronounce it? I think it's with OK Tech's certification and that they're very proud of, for example, like of the different collections like their natural gold silk collection. They're unique and they're 100% Shamroos silk range with elasticity. All right, so I picked up this piece called the Encarna Knit Blazer. So it's basically like a long line blazer, but in a knit form. And it comes with this sash as well. And what I've done is I've just double layered it. This is also 100% wool. So you've got this part that's going in and it just skims out. This is probably a good gift. Either you get it for yourself or you get it for like a relative. Like everything comes in like really like luxurious packaging. I'll show you here in the cutaways. It already comes gift wrapped. Or you can have it in a downsized packaging, which is just an envelope. So it's up to you. Again, it's all about the sustainability aspect. And either type of packaging you choose is 100% recycled materials but the quality is there and it's affordable i like that it's got like these little lapels right here literally just tied it on the side imagine if i'm wearing like a polo neck and you put like toffee brown boots with it easy piece to wear again i'm not i'm wearing it with a crop bra you need to see this this is so good i'm wearing it with just a pair of like sheer tights and i've got my doc martens on but it's a wrap dress and it is made from shamroos silk wraps here um, and you can just make it nice and tight. I love this. You know how I love cuffs. See, it's got like the covered button side. It's, look at that, look how glossy that looks. I thought it was just such a fun, easy, flirty kind of dress to wear. So easy for the holidays, right? It's a really nice, fun, little party dress, but 100% grade A mulberry silk. I feel like that's a hallmark of Lily Silk anyway. Because, it, because it's 100% natural fibers, it's skin friendly and it's breathable as well. Like low boots, thigh highs, and put this on. I think it's gonna look so cool. Look at this skirt that I picked up. I'll show you the cutaways right here so you can see how it looks. Um, but I just love this skirt. It's the perfect chic length. And I just teamed it with the same Lily Silk um, jumper that I had on earlier. I love this jumper. Um, it's got like panels of what looks like chiffon silk. This is a stunning skirt and this is the type of thing that I talk about that I'm excited to wear for fall. It's skinny, it's like slinky, textures like this, it's coupled with like a chunky knit and contrasts it with chunky boots. It looks so good with my knits. It's got like, this skirt peeking out as you're walking. Thank 
thank me later and remember there's so many benefits to silk anyway and i know i've talked about that it's just for sleeping benefits sleep on their pillowcases it's really good for your skin skin is not like rubbing on a hard dried out cotton and the same with your hair you could just sleep directly on their pillowcases alone and they come in like a thousand colors also silk bed sheets premium cashmere's premium wools perfect gift for the holiday the last piece i got from lily silk Amru's silk blouse i'm just wearing it with the same silk uh, skirt bag. Oh, God, look how glossy this all looks together. I'll show you right here. If you come a bit closer, you can see. It's just so good. Listen, if you if you work in an office and then you're looking for something a little bit different, but that's still smart, wearing with heels, just switch from like these to heels. This also just with a pair of denim jeans. Uh, obviously, you can wear it buttoned all the way up. Lily Silk is working with uh, a really famous Japanese artist of Mika Ninagawa to make some really special designs. Lily Silk has already been seen on like Anne Hathaway, Gwyneth Paltrow, and I had no idea. Anyway, I'll leave all the information for you below. And I do have a code for you. Karen B12 will get you an extra 12% off Lily Silk. Let me know if you finally cave and try anything from Lily Silk. So. Sticking with pieces that I cannot wait to wear for this fall, actually it kind of ties in nicely with what I'm wearing because um, like I said to you before, I love the idea of wearing like something that's very slinky and soft and contrast it with something that's much thicker. Like the idea of wearing this skirt and I could wear it with like the striped knit that I had on earlier or I could have it with like a cable knit for example, right, just to get that contrast in the two textures and then also I could just like fling on like a coat and just wear that and just have like the boots on. I just think it's such a nice play on two different textures. And even like slip dresses as well, same thing. It's the same factor. It's the fact that you can wear a slip dress, layer it on top of a polar neck, and then put like a coat just draped over your shoulders. Oh, that's such a good look. I love stuff like that. Or even a chunky knit on top of the slip dress. So now it looks like a slip skirt. Little things like that, I cannot wait. These are such cool things to do for the fall, right? Because this is it's the play on textures. Another thing that I cannot wait to wear for this fall, I have to say, is cargos. I am seeing cargos everywhere, and I'm sure you lot are seeing them everywhere too. I am, they're all over the freaking place. I love my cargos that I designed. I designed them literally for myself. That's, that was it. I collaborated with Amazon and they came out with them. That was like a year, actually, God, it's over a year ago. It was 2021, August, that I came out with it. They sold out and they came out with them again in more colors and they sold out as well again in majority of the colors. But I love them, they show in the screen. I wear them year round anyway, but I want to start wearing them right now in the fall with these boots which I just think looks so good together. That look, because it's like the tight shaft, and then you got those on, or oh, I can wear the Bottega boots. <gasps> the Bottega boots, and wear them like unlaced a little bit. These boots right here. You've already seen them, I'll show you. Oh God, I'll just show you, bloody hell. I can't believe that there's probably some of you out there who don't know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, it's because you're not following me. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all this stuff. But these, that, with the same cargo pants that I designed. That's gonna look so cool together, especially the ones that's like oh, in the cream color or in the mushroom, the capers color, capers. Comment below if you've got those cargos, by the way. But I think that's gonna look so badass and just anchor it. It doesn't have to be a Bottega boot. Just anchor it with a good chunky boot that's got like that, you know, like I always say that tight shaft. Actually, I kind of like it with this as well. So it's kind of that little flash of that sole. Cause you've got all black and you just got this. God, I've got to stop. I'm literally just rolodexing outfits in front of you. But that, cargo pants are a definite must and I cannot wait to start wearing them. And another pair that I have as cargo pants are the white ones. I picked these up, I think I was with Nuri and True at the time when they were in New York and I picked these up. They are men's and they are from the vintage shop in Brooklyn in Williamsburg. They are like three sizes bigger than I am. But I love them. They have a drawstring, so I make them nice and like tight here, and that creates a nice balloon effect because they also have a drawstring at the ankle. So you tie it here and you tie it here, and you get that balloon effect with the trouser. They're so, so good. They have a back pocket right here. Hopefully, you can see. You can see there's a back pocket right there, a little flat pocket. 
they are so great i love them they're super lightweight i love that billowy cloud like look that these have on and i've already worn them before you've seen them on my either my instagram and or tiktok i've styled these up for you i'm going to be styling these again into fall because i think they're such a great piece so these are the kind of cargos i'm talking about i love them i really do i'm such a fan of them and i can't believe how they've literally just exploded at the moment like cargos have become the thing to be wearing and i just i'm kind of glad in the way that i designed my ones before they became such a big thing as they are now because if not it's going to look like oh you're only coming out with cargos because cargos are in no i didn't i came up with them because i liked cargos before that anyway um speaking of there's another pair i actually had them on earlier the ones from Zara, these olive ones, love these. I think I've had these for about six months, if not more. Also too big for me, but I don't mind because I do that crisscross technique, which you know about. I showed you on TikTok where you can make these um, a little bit smaller on your waist. So it's a nice hack. So just follow me on TikTok because I like to try and do small, quick, like bite-sized hacks on there. These are great olive back pockets as well. Super flattering. I find that when I wear these, these get a lot of compliments. And I think it's because they're cut really well, like here, when you do that hack that I told you about, which is basically just to take the, the metal hook and to put it onto the belt loop. And that makes it much smaller. It's like a really easy thing you can do with a lot of your pants. And it's just a really nice wide cut nice loose material but quite um, substantial as well and i love that olive green of it which is really wearable with so many things for autumn and i really think it's a very full color so whenever i buy anything from places like zara i try and make sure that they're pieces that i can have for a very long time so that's why a lot of the time some of you ask me like oh give me the link for these from zara <laughs> sometimes i've had these for years because i'm very strategic when i shop from places like that because i want it to be something that's not fast and disposable. I want to hold on to it for a long time, like the silver dress. That leads me to the next thing. The Zara silver long. I cannot wait to wear sequins in the fall, especially in the fall. I think that's like the perfect time in Karen's brain to wear sequins. You wear them during the day, obviously, and you wear them right now because you can layer them with like long cardigans over them or you can wear like like i said like coats denim jackets you can see this one i wore with my frankie shop denim jacket it's cropped and i wore the same zara uh, sequin dress i love it i love just sequins in the fall i don't know what it is i think it's because it's the most unexpected time that you would wear sequins and that's exactly when i want to wear them on tiktok you've already seen this but I picked something up from the real real. I'm going to show you right here. It's like a sequin dream. And I love it. And I've had my eye on this bloody dress for about two years. And I didn't cave on it. And then I saw it in black at the real real. I haven't even worn it yet. The tags are still attached. This is by Ganny. And I absolutely love it. It's so good. It's such a stunning dress. It zips here all the way up so it can completely open. You can layer it, obviously, later on with like a second skin polo, you name it, t-shirt, whatever. I love it. It's that full, you know the sleeves I love, just like what I'm wearing. They're kind of like full sleeve, it's got the cuff to it, maxi length, it's just amazing. And to wear this with like just F off boots, <sighs> I'm so glad because I originally, don't laugh at me, <laughs> I can hear you laughing, because I wanted it in the silver. I'll show you here. Temu, you have it in the silver. I always wanted that color, because it's so nice. But I have the Zara silver, so I'm, I'm good. The itch got scratched when I picked up that Zara sequin dress. So when I saw the exact same Ganny dress that I've always wanted, but I saw it in the black, I took it. And I like that it's black, actually, because A, it's more versatile in a way, because it's black, and also it's the fact that i already have it anyway a silver dress that's sequined as well so i love sequins during the winter and the fall but especially during the fall because when it's winter it's like possible snow and just just colder and colder and colder but when it's now this is when you're wearing your jackets this is when you're wearing your trench coats this is when you're wearing your long line coats but maybe a little bit thinner you know like you're not going into like the puffer season yet although i would wear that with a puffer i would you know i would wear this with a black puffer like a short puffer oh my god i have like a 
just realized I have, sorry, oh my god. This is another thing I can't wait to wear, which is puffers. Although it's a bit early for that, but puffer vests. So I like the sleeveless vests and I, lo I just love that. But I have one in black, that's the point I was trying to get to. So I could wear this and I could wear the, the sleeveless puffer vest over this with the sequins it's gonna look so good and you could wear like a just like a skull cap like a like a like a knit hat and then you got like the boots on that's such like a casual thrown together mishmash look i like mishmash that's my sweet spot it's mishmashing clothes and putting together things in unexpected combinations that leads me into the next thing i'm looking out for which is just combinations coming up with unexpected contrasts of things that go together that don't go together but because of that they go together whether it can be colors and i'll show you on the screen some examples of what i mean it's just things that you wear that you wouldn't expect to put together but i think that during the fall because everyone is layering a lot more because we have to because of the the temperatures dropping you have that excuse you have that right to layer things together and you also have that right to look like Oh, I just ran out the house. I wasn't sure what the temperature was. So I just flung on this with this. But really, you did think about it. But that's your, that's your pass. It's going to look like that to other people. Like, oh, poor woman. She probably just ran out the house and she didn't know what the temperature was like. So she wore all of that crap together. Not realizing, woman, that I love that look together. And there was a lot of thought and there's a lot of joy in those layers and that mishmash of crap together. Sorry, I'm just... <sighs> this is the season. This is it. This is the time when you wear the stuff that you want to really shine and really show your, your love of playing with clothes. You do not have to necessarily buy a lot of things. You can just go into your wardrobe and look at things and go, Wow, I would never have thought to put that with that. But you know what? Karen gave me an idea. F*** it, and I'm going to give it a try, because you just never know. Another thing I'm looking forward to wearing are bomber jackets. Now, I got this one. You don't know about the orange one. This that I got. Oh, so good. This I got from the same vintage shop that I got the men's white cloud-like parachute pants. I got this from that same shop. And it is absolutely perfect. I love it. It is men's. It is fully lined with olive contrasting color on the inside. It's super well made. It's oversized on me. I'm not going to put it on because I'm going to look like a Halloween ad. But I just love this. And I just want to wear this because it's oversized. It actually hits. I hit buttons here. It hits me like about there. And because it's slightly longer, I like the idea of just being like all legs, like just tight and just like boots, like thigh high, thigh high flat boots. I'm manifesting those, but I can imagine those. I'm going to talk about boots in a second. So just stay right there. But boots with those knee high boots. And again, put the tights on. So your legs, you've got this skin is not showing. So that way it doesn't look like kind of pretty woman waiting for Richard Gear. You've got the tights on, then you've got the boots. Then you got the bomber, you got your sweats and you know your polos and your knits underneath it. You can also go with wearing like a little structured skirt as well, just so it's peeking out, or even like a pair of shorts that's in wool peeking out. But the whole point is the look is the bomber and the boots. Bomber boots. That's the vibe we're going for, and that's the vibe I want. That's the vibe I want. I can't wait. I'm literally seeing all this stuff now. I think I might get this bomber in a darker color, the yin and yang to it. Okay, so speaking of boots, I don't know what category I am on at the moment because I'm literally on a roll. I'm literally just freewheeling. I don't need notes. I can literally just like spit out the top of my head things that I love to wear. That's why when I'm doing my story, I'm digressing, when I do my street style episodes, I have these, these interesting, fascinating dialogues with people. A lot of you say in the comments that you love the conversations I have with people because I love I love style I love fashion but I love style I love style more than I love fashion 
And I think that comes across when I talk to people from my episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The socks, of course. Socks. Giving you some Michael Jackson vibes. There you go. And my favorite Margiela pouch bag. I love that bag. <laughs> it's so soft and squishy. It is. It's interesting for traveling. You definitely have a pillow right it's, away. Exactly. Even when I'm talking to you right now, I'm feeling that now. I'm feeling like I'm on a roll. Do you know what I mean? So I'm able to just like just spit off like things I like. I don't have to like look at a note and go, what's the next point? You know, I already know it's all up here and here, the stuff that I love to wear. But <sighs> boots, speaking of boots, obviously the Doc Martens, this goes nowhere. I'm always gonna like wearing those in the fall. That's like no, nothing new. But I'm gonna show you the Bottegas that I got from last year, which I also cannot wait to wear. And I also cannot wait to wear more the leather jacket that I picked up from Paris. I'll show you pictures of it here. And I styled it with leather skirts, a faux leather skirt, which I also can't wait to wear. Faux leather skirts or just leather skirts. Cannot wait to wear those longer ones, right? Just like here, shown here with that flea market find leather jacket. I cannot wait to wear those categories to me. It looks so good. Denim maxi skirts i cannot not mention them i think it's just skirts in general i know that denim maxi skirts are having a massive moment and i love them i have mine that i got believe it or not it's from old navy and i got mine about four years ago and it's just parked in my wardrobe year after year after year I pull that thing out. It's one of those pieces that's going nowhere. I've noticed that right now, like cargo pants, it's trending. Denim maxi skirts, you've seen them all over the place. I'll show you some inspo pictures of them. I love them and I cannot wait to wear mine again. You know, even if they weren't trending, I would say I can't wait to wear the denim maxi skirt because I've had that skirt for so many years. And there's a reason why, because every single fall, it's the perfect time to wear it because it looks so good with boxy jackets, which is another thing I can't wait to wear. God, it's just so many things. Boxy jacket, I love boxy jackets. I have one from Jacquemus and I absolutely love it. It's such a good jacket. I bought it on sale from Essence. I remember that. Best buy I ever got because I've been trolling the internet looking for like a lighter version of that because I have worn that jacket to death. I hit the ground running with it because I needed an update to the one that I always wear, which is the, you know, the one I got from Love Day Vintage, the one with the contrasting stitch, that one. I'll show you in the cutaways right here. I can't be bothered reaching over, but that one right here, I love wearing that one. I've worn it so much that A, I wanted something that was a size up because it's extremely fitted. So I wanted something that was bigger to be able to wear like, bigger things underneath it. And I wanted something that was plain. No contrasting stitch, contrasting buttons, just plain. All you see is the black boxiness of the jacket. And that Jacquemus one is 100% it. It really is, I'm so glad I got it. And I only pray that Jacquemus comes out with it again in a lighter color. Or maybe by the time you're watching this video, I will have searched the globe and I will have found one that is a lighter version of it, but it is so good, I love it. The reason I like the boxy cuts, they're slightly cropped, but not like up here like Frankie shot, you know, like the denim jacket. They're like cropped at your waist, and I like that because it lends itself perfectly to show off a skirt like this. It really does, you see the whole skirt, you see as your hips go in, and then you've got like the jacket starting right there. It starts at the most perfect point on your body. I'm going to list below any good jackets that I've seen that kind of tick off that mark, but also on my newsletter that just went up. I put them out every two weeks. If you want to sign up for my newsletter, I will leave a link for you below. But every two weeks on a Sunday, I come out with outfits that I really am digging at the moment. And I just, either are they on sale or not on sale. The point is, is they're really cool, cool pieces. And I think they look so, so on point for this time of the year. And often I cave. Like when I show those newsletters, I put a stamp on it saying, oh, I caved on this, or I already have this particular piece because I'm showing you, these newsletters are very personal to me and to my wardrobe and to my taste. So a lot of the things that like are put together outfit wise, I think, wow, that looks really good. I'm actually sold on that jacket now, you know, and I might get it. Last thing is monotone or monochromatic looks where you're wearing like head to toe, 
of one color. I did it recently in all green. I'm gonna show you right here so you can see almost, almost all green. And also in creams as well. It was a campaign that I did with Canada Goose and I was styling their puffers, which I have now, I own those, and they're so warm. I can't wait to wear those in winter. But I went for like the monochromatic kind of look. I went for the all winter white look. I showed this look on my TikTok as well. I love that look for the fall. It's such a, a chic way to stand out. Camels. A moment of silence for the return of camel in the form. And I'm not gonna explain why there's a camel that is showing on the screen every time I say the word camel because you should have been knowing from a long time ago. Sorry, I shouldn't do that to you lot. But there's a reason why. And any OG subscribers, show me that you are and comment to the people below who are gonna like, why is there a camel head showing on the screen every time Karen says camel? I will pin the first person who answers that question below to somebody else who's newer and, and seeing me for the first time. But shades of camel look so good together. I'm gonna to show you again on here. Just all one color and i'm not just talking about black although black also looks super chic when it's done well together again in different tones episode 30 of what everyone is wearing in new york don't forget look at that after you watch this video but you're going to see there's a woman shot in paris wearing like a look yes it is in paris wearing a look that's chic head to toe black but it's done so well so well even michael we'll see at a cafe she walked by and even Michael's like, wow, she really looks good. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, that is what I'm talking about. It's the fact that you're wearing all one color, but it's the choice of the silhouette, the cuts of your wearing, make sure to contrast them. If you're wearing something that's loose up here, wear something that's a little bit fitted up, vice versa, chunkier knit here, wear it with like a slinky silk skirt, here, the chunky boot, or a sneaker even, but it's all in one color. Then you've got the coat or the bomber or the jacket on top. Again, same color family, they don't have to be identical. As long as they're roughly in the same color family, it's such a cool look. Men's suits, because I can't wait to wear those like in the fall. But anyway, I'm gonna stop because I could just sit here all day and you're gonna be like literally like nodding off. Those are the key things. Let me know if you try anything from Lily Silk. I'll leave everything in the description box for you and just let me know what you try. Give this video a thumbs up if you got some inspiration on what to wear for fall. Are there any things here that I suggested that you're thinking, yeah, I'm the same. I want to wear those too. So give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you like, you agree with me as well. And do not forget, subscribe to my channel for more videos. But that is it. That is my lot. I am done. I am gone. I feel like I'm going to go out for a drink in this outfit. Like I just need to wear like strappy heels and I can just go out for a drink. Just have like a clutch, red lipstick or a red bag not both together. Anyway, that is it, my loves. I'll see you on TikTok, okay, between this Friday and next, and on Instagram, obviously, as well. All right, my loves, I'll take care.